In this lesson, you will learn to find multiplication patterns using a multiplication table. What is a pattern? A pattern is an ordered set of objects, numbers, or shapes that follow a rule. Okay, let's go to number and rotation this area, but we're gonna focus on rotation. I can see that these two are in the exact same position, every object. But as I move on to these next two, I see a change in rotation, and the orange object has moved two times to get to this position. And so I can say that the pattern is you rotate two positions after you repeat twice. Now down here in number and multiplication, Let's look at this section here. So we have times two, and we have two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. Pause the video and see if you can figure out the pattern. So let's start with four. That's just a number on the, in this group. I can see that four is a number that is two times as many as the previous number, which is two. See if that holds for 16. 16 is two times as many as eight. It does. 64 is two times as many as 32. So there would be my pattern. All right, let's take a look at a multiplication table and how do you use one? Let's start with a a multiplication problem like six times five. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, this, we're gonna find the six and a five. Those are both the factors. And I'm going to draw a line down from six to the row of five and from five to six. And this is the number where they intersect that gives me the answer. So six times five is 30. Let's do one more nine times three. Try pausing the video and see if you can find the answer on our multiplication table. So again, you're gonna start with nine and three. Draw a line down from nine to three and from three to nine and 27 is our answer. Nine times three is 27. So let's look at going down columns. So we picked six and I highlighted. And so we have six, I'm sorry, zero, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72. And can you see a pattern? And let's start at zero. From zero to six, we are increasing by six. 6 to 12, increasing by 6. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 20, 6 is 24. So as we go down this column, we are increasing by 6. Let's look at column 5. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And 0 to 5, we increase by 5. 5 to 10, increase by 5. As we go down this column of 5s, we increase by 5. Again, 6, column 6, we increase by 6 going down. 5, we're increasing by 5 going down. Well, let's make a prediction. If we were to look at the pattern for the column of 1, what do you predict is the pattern going down? 0, 1, 2, 3, and it would be increasing by 1. So if I picked 3, we'd be increasing by 3. Column 8, increasing by 8 as we move down. Now I've written these numbers down so we can take a look again. And let's look at this row here. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now, you should recognize that as a count by count by five. And if we went to the six, six, zero, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, that are, those are gonna be your count by six numbers. And this one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, 
that would be your count by ones and twos. If we went to twos, we'd have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So also, I also notice that as you go down the columns, you are you are saying your count by 12s or your count by 11s going down and that's why it is important to memorize your count bys because they will help you with your multiplication facts now let's take a look at going from left to right of columns one five and six and those are the columns that i've already highlighted so i'm going to start at this column move on to this number in this column and finally to the six column and let's look at 8 40 and 48 now if I when, when I go from 8 to 40 and then finally to 48 I notice a pattern I'm going to reveal another row for 20 and then 24 so the pattern I noticed is that if I add 8 and 40, I get 48. And if I add 4 plus 20, it equals a sum, uh, it equals a, a sum of 24. And finally, 7 and 35 equals 42. So as we go from left to right of columns 1, 5, and 6, you're adding the first two columns, one and five, and it equals the column six. Let's shade in row zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10. And take a look to see what pattern you notice. I notice that all these numbers are even. Now let's compare rows 2 and 10. And what do you notice about the product? So I'm going to assume that this is these numbers in these rows are the product because they are more than or greater than the numbers in this row. So remember the word product means if I take two factors and multiply them, I'm going to get a product. So if Let's take 60 as our product, and 12 is going to be our factor. 12 times what is 60? 12 times 5 is 60. Let's take another 2 and see if we see a pattern. We're going to take 20 and 4. So 20 is the product, 4 is a factor. 4 times what is 20? 4 times 5 is 20. And 12 times 5 was 60. So the product in row 10 are five times as much as a number in row 2. So that's the pattern. Let's look at patterns that go diagonally. So I have the numbers 7, 12. I'm sorry, it starts from 0, 7, 12. 15, 16, 15, 12, 7, 0. So I have them written down here. And one thing I notice is that we have 15, 15 on either side of this number 16. And then we have 12, 12. And 7, 7, and 0, 0. So this number right here in the middle is really important because it, the numbers on the sides of it mirror each other. So I'm gonna highlight that over here as well. What about zero, five, eight, nine, eight, five, zero? Can you see the same pattern here as we did on the first set of numbers? And I do, I have eight, five, and zero, and nine is going to be our number of importance here because the numbers start mirroring each other. Let's try one last set. So here's the diagonal shading and these are the numbers. K, 
Can you figure out which number is set in the middle? And it is 36. And the numbers mirror each other on either side. The other thing to, to remember or to see is that 36 is 6 times 6. So double multiplication of that. 16 is 4 times 4. And can you figure out the factors for 9 that are doubles? 3 times 3. In this lesson, you learned to find multiplication patterns using a multiplication chart.